Hey guys, this is Chico, he provides. And for the purpose of this video, Sharon Burke also provides. I'll, I'll tell you more in a minute. We're going to do a Thrive Life uh, taste test and review. And this is Italian Pasta Marinara. Now, I've been putting this off because I wanted either one of my daughters, I want one of our kids to do this with me. I don't eat a lot of pasta. In fact, for the last few years I've eaten almost none. Um, but my kids all love pasta. So I was wanting to do it with them, but we just cannot seem to get our schedules to, to work out. So I'm going to do it on my own. And then what I don't eat now, we'll put it in the fridge and um, one of the kids will eat it later. But it's Thrive Life. And this was shipped to me by Sharon Burke. Um, and I will put all of her contact information below. Um, if you are interested in Thrive Life, she's the person you need to talk to if you want to order some she's the person you need to go through she is awesome I'm quite fond of her and we talk just about every day through um, our YouTube channels um, and I'll, I'll link her Facebook page in the whole bit so Sharon Burke she'll hook you up with Thrive Life uh, so far we've been impressed with everything that we've opened everything that we've tried so this there's four servings per container. The serving size is three quarters cup, which equals 67 grams. And a, a calories per serving is 250. Um, total fat is 2.5 grams, which is 3% of your daily values. Um, saturated fat, 1 gram, 5%. No trans fats. Cholesterol is 5 milligrams. Um, and 2% of your daily value, which is not bad. Carbs is my issue. Sodium, 600 milligrams, that's a little high. Um, that's 20%, 26% of your daily value. Um, it is kind of high, but it's not nearly as high as your canned goods. Um, total carbs. Did I say carbs already? I lied. Cholesterol is 5 milligrams and that's 2%. So cholesterol is not bad. Carbs are 47 grams of carbs for 3 quarters of a cup. That's 17% of your daily value. That's a lot of carbs, which is why I've backed, up, backed off of pasta. Daily fiber, or dietary fiber, 3% or 3 grams and that's 11% of your daily value. Total sugars is 10 grams which includes 2 grams of added sugars and that's 4% of your daily value. Um, has 75 milligrams of calcium which is 6%, 2 milligrams of iron which is 10% and 355 milligrams of potassium which is 8 milligrams. Um, I have a Restless leg syndrome issue. Potassium is a wonderful thing. I usually get my potassium from bananas though. Cooking directions. You bring three and a half cups of water to a boil. It's on the stove but I haven't started the boiling process. Then you whisk in the contents of the package. Return to a boil. Reduce heat. Simmer for eight to ten minutes. Stirring frequently. You let it stand for five minutes and then you stir in two tablespoons of butter if you desire and you season it to taste. I won't season it, I want to see what it tastes like right out of the package. So I know you don't want to come along for uh, watching me boil water. It's really not very exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop here. I'm going to get this all ready. Then we're going to do a taste test, a review, and I'll show you and hopefully get your opinion of what you think it looks like and your opinion of Thrive Life in general. So, be right back. Alright guys, we're back. We had a bit of a snafu. Um, the camera actually ran out of space on the uh, SD memory card while I was filming. 
Um, so then we've had to reheat and we're back. So the snafus ever happened to you? It happened to me quite often. So one of the things that I want to bring up um, in an earlier Thrive Life pasta video they weren't, the, the pasta wasn't soft like it ought to be um, and I thought maybe I just didn't cook it long enough. So this one it, it says cook 8 to 10 minutes and I think the last time I cooked 9 and it just wasn't quite there and I cooked it 10 this time and it's much better it's the, the, the consistency of it is much better and then I let it uh, cool for longer than I did the last time as well I didn't add seasoning but I did add a little uh, Parmesan cheese grated Parmesan cheese my wife just had to have it and we've got it in the fridge so I thought pasta marinara without Parmesan cheese well that's barbaric so I just I did add that I do one real quick tell you some of the ingredients I mean, it's got rotini pasta it's got uh, let me get my eyes focused here tomato sauce uh, sugar milk fat whey salt sweet cream garlic powder onion powder spices non-milk no non-fat milk solids, non-fat milk, carrot powder, uh, Parmesan cheese powder, but it's never enough, uh, milk, salt, cheese, culture enzymes, tomato powder, tomato dices, uh, granulated garlic, Italian blend seasoning, which in, uh, includes or, uh, oregano, basil, rosemary, thyme, marjoram, sage, and savory. There's also peppercorn in here, and I love peppercorn. And dehydrated green and red bell peppers. So it sounds tasty. It was easy to cook. Let's try it out. It's cooled down considerably now. The added cook time, an extra minute, made a huge difference. It's great consistency, it's tender, um, and this is better than I imagined. And, and this particular meal, the Italian pasta marinara, is better than I think any of the uh, freeze-dried meals that we've tried f so far in any brand um, we've tried Weiss brand we've tried Mountain House and Thrive Thrive Life and this particular meal is better than any of them this is very close to restaurant quality it is quite good it's quite tasty um, it tastes as good as any uh, pasta marinara I've had anywhere else it's it's this is two thumbs up. I really like it. And I think you'll like it too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you think you'll like it, go to the description box below. Get Sharon Burke's uh, information. Contact her and order some. She's awesome. She'll treat you well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for coming along. Uh, Godspeed.